what is going on with Bitcoin? So honestly, not much has happened since our last update on Friday as today in the United States, it is a holiday. So pretty much the action today, the volume today is very similar to a weekend. So today's video will be short and sweet as we take a look at a few different indicators and some on-chain data to give us an idea of what is really going on in the market right now. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome back to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys, the community with the knowledge and resources to help you take your wealth up to that next level. So if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on those notifications. Also, don't forget to smash the like button on the video. And if you have any questions regarding anything that we cover here, of course, drop it in the comments. As you guys can see, ever since we had this drop on back in January 5th, we've basically been trading within this range. You could pretty much draw a straight line through it and you'll kind of see this range we've been trading within. We had the, the possible breakout attempt here and then we got sent right back into the range, right? So what's interesting is that it has been respecting this ascending support level here, which is a good thing. And then we have the flat top resistance. So basically what this looks like is where it will kind of continue doing something like that. It will continue to compress volume will continue to go down. As you guys can see, it's been doing here lately. Bollinger bands are going to tighten at that point. And eventually we're going to get a br either a break out, right? Or a break down. So a decision has to be made here probably within the next two weeks. Bitcoin must decide on a direction. So we are getting close people. So how do we know which way it's going to break? Well, there's really no way to know. What we try to do is look through different indicators and different data to try to get an idea of what's going on and what's happened previously with that data, right? So if we look at the RVI, which is the relative volatility indicator, right? You will see that it is basically at the same lows where it bounced from last time, which was back in June before we began our climb back to the upside. Before that, we're at these levels back during this time right here, which again, it was just low volatility for a long time before for moving up and we've really only been below these levels at the end of uh, the bear market back in 2018 going into 2019. And that was, of course, again, before a move up. So next, we're looking at the Bollinger Bands on the 12 hour. You can see that we're starting to get really tight here. Um, that usually represents that a move is coming, especially if you pair it with the volume also falling lower and lower and lower. Volatility is falling lower. So all of these things are telling us that a move is basically getting ready for a move to happen. Now, whether that's a move to the upside or a move to the downside, that's what what we have to kind of figure out. So we've basically shown you guys everything that there is on the charts, right? We've shown you guys all the fractals from here and back here. We've shown you guys the current uh, support that we're at same support as here, et cetera, et cetera. We've shown you guys the possible accumulation schematic that we could possibly be in right now, right? So let's look at some on-chain data. We've even shown you guys some of the advanced indicators that have consistently and accurately called the tops and bottoms of uh, different periods of the Bitcoin uh, cycle, right? Including the NVT signal, which is signaling a buy, which every time it's been in the same level, you can see the price has gone up. It was over here, price went up, when it, signaled, when it signaled it over here. At that time from where it was, price went up before continuing down. So another thing that's usually bullish for Bitcoin is the total hash rate. So you can see that we're actually at a all time high as far as hash rate. You can see that back in May, we had the huge drop off in hash rate when the whole thing with uh, China was going on. And then ever since it's not only picked it back up and caught back up to where it was, but we set a new all time high in hash rate. So this is usually a bullish sign for Bitcoin. 
Another thing we've been watching here is the well holders. So a well holder is anyone that has over a thousand Bitcoin. You can see that it's currently at a all time high here. This is actually the most that whales have accumulated. So wells have slowly continued to accumulate Bitcoin here during this time. And that kind of also hints to us that they're not going to let the prices continue to fall because that's going to affect them, right? So at these low prices, they've been accumulating. I think I saw that one of the largest wells, it was like the third largest wallet or something like that, um, has been buying this whole way down. Basically, any anytime it's gone under like 46,000, it's been accumulating there as well. So again, guys, I know that uh, we're down today about 2% and um, a lot of the sentiment out there is very bearish. There's still a lot of fear. As you can see, we're at 22 and we're at the lowest levels that we've seen since back in May, June, July. But as long as we stay above these levels, guys, we're still on a very strong support. There's a lot of confluence there and it's holding for now. So as long as we hold above $40,000, as long as the candles continue to close above 40 and 42,000, we are bullish guys until we lose this level, we are not flipping. So if we do lose this level, then we can start looking at lower targets, you know, probably way down here. Um, that would probably be uh, the first target that we're looking for if we were to close below this. But for now, we're still not bearish. This is still a higher low, right? So the macro trend is still intact. So let's see what happens uh, this week. But again, we're not really looking to take any leverage trades at this time, only looking to just kind of being patient here, adding to some of our longer term portfolios. And uh, you just got to sit in your hands, guys, you got to learn to sit in your hands, learn to preserve capital, learn to just sit back and let messes like this play out. And then you bounce in once there's a clear direction. People are always too focused in trying to catch, you know, the bottom or trying to time the top. I'm not interested in any of that, guys. I want the middle. I want this part right here. I want this part right here, right? Like we want the middle. That's what we're interested in. That's where we're going to make the majority of our money. We are not going to time the market. We're not going to time the bottom. We're not going to time the top. So get that out of your head, wait for a direction and just make money in the middle. I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications. And if you have any questions, drop it in the comments. I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, peace and love.